we will see uh, the next experiment experiment number 10 preparation of dispensing and auxiliary labels for biphasic liquid dosage form that we are going to see the different activities which are there from the uh, dummy prescription how to prepare it then how to draw the label so then the questions we and answers which are there uh, so uh, this is Ankita Berde. Uh, good morning to one and all. Uh, that is, um, I am uploading the videos for the community pharmacy and management for the practicals and theory. Then for that, so that's why that student can get benefit from this. Students can secure the good no good marks in the exam. Students can get the good knowledge about the subject. So if you had not subscribed to my channel, then please subscribe first and press the bell icon to get the latest updates of upcoming videos so firstly biophysic liquid dosage form it contains the suspension emulsions are there so firstly this what are the components of dispensing label for biophysic liquid dosage form so this is these basic components are there that is patient name medicine name prescription number then the type of that biophysic liquid form its strength root frequency of administration quantity of that liquid dosage form biophysic then other specific direction that is before or after meals storage condition date of dispensing filling and expiry repeat information name and address of the dispensing pharmacy name of pharmacist and prescriber so these are the components of dispensing label for biophysic liquid dosage form then now see auxiliary what is the main most important auxiliary label for biophysic liquid dosage form so depending upon the active ingredient and root of administration so this auxiliary label uh, that is similar to biophysic liquid dosage form but see what that mandatory label for this it is the uh, shake well before use and uh, if the biophysic liquid dosage form is for external use then for external use only that should be mentioned on the label means in case of lotion like calamine lotion is there in that cases then here uh, see now requirements use here dummy prescription pen paper and journal then now see what are the activities are there so activity one that is identify the components of the label so here label is given you have to identify the components from the label so first the patient name is there then medicine name then dose frequency of administration three times a day uh, then uh, quantity it is 170 ml root of administration here it's oral then uh, here uh, specific direction uh, so here that should be the shake well before you storage condition it is the store in cool and dry place then uh, auxiliary label keep out of reach of children name of dispensing pharmacy trinity pharmacy and name of prescriber is given so that is activity one then now see activity 2 so from the prescription and data given below we have to prepare the dispensing label containing the auxiliary label so see this is the given and you have to prepare from this so this is the uh, dispensing label containing the auxiliary label is there so here mephenemic acid and paracetamol brand is the mefkind pds suspension here dose is given that is drug is to be given as directed by physician only warning is co-administration with potentially hepatotoxic drug that should be avoided caution uh, taking more than daily doses of paracetamol may cause serious liver damage or allergic reaction so that caution is there then now see activity 3 see this is the dummy prescription is there and from this dummy prescription this is dummy prescription and from this dummy prescription so th this is label is prepared from this dummy prescription so you can see on screen this is dummy prescription okay from this dummy prescription this is prepared then now see simple questions are there state the components of the dispensing label for biophysic liquid dosage form what are the components are there so here components these are the patient name medicine name simple components are there generic name prescription number type of that biophysic liquid form strength root and frequency of administration quantity 
then other specific direction storage condition date of dispensing refer information name and address name of pharmacist and prescriber these are there then auxiliary label which should be mandatory for this suspension it is the shake well before use and if the biphasic liquid dosage form it is mean for external use then for external use only so that should be mentioned on the label so this we had seen experiment number 10 is there this is dummy prescription from this this is prepare the so so this solve questions were solved simple questions are there so uh, experiment number all 1 to 12 experiments uh, that all videos they are available on my channel under the playlist stop practical stop community pharmacy and management so all these videos will be very very helpful for the for doing the best in your practical exam for viva for synopsis for major experiment and for minor experiment okay so thank you so much for fully watching this video share video with your friends because sharing is like a caring and very soon we are uh, going to start the mcq session so first uh, uh, that is on two uh, chapters community pharmacy practice and professional responsibilities of community pharmacists that videos were available kindly go through it uh, then uh, on the prescription chapters these videos are also uh, upcoming on the mcq session so kindly prepare for it and join for the mcq session thank you happy learning stay safe